Hey guys, my name's Ed Rollo, coming to you from Hong Kong. I'm an Ableton certified trainer here at Soul Passion Music. And today I'd like to show you some cool things you need to know about the new Capture feature in Live 10. First of all, what is Capture? Capture introduces a new way to record your ideas. We are now able to capture everything we play without having to hit record. You can think of it like live is always listening. So let's see this in action. We now have a capture icon next to the session record button. By pressing this, Live creates a new MIDI clip containing all the notes you've just played. It will also guess the tempo and maintain the feel of your playing. And for best results, try starting and finishing on a downbeat. So here I have the Roland SPDSX triggering a drum rack in live and I'm using this FS6 pedal MIDI map to the capture button. This is great as it allows me to jam out my ideas and then capture them whenever I want. Okay, so a few important things to point out. Capture is only available for MIDI, not audio. And Capture won't record any automation movements that you might make. That would have been a nice feature, however, it still will record any movements that you make with the pitch bend or the mod wheel. I believe Capture will backtrack around 10 minutes of playing, so long as there isn't a pause of around 30 seconds or so between playing. Now, this is kind of cool. I was thinking about the possibilities of jamming with other people. Having the last 10 minutes of your ideas could have some huge benefits because you could go back to a point where the jam was really gelling. And finally, for all the push users out there, the new shortcut for Capture is Session Record and New. I'm still experimenting with the possibilities of Capture, but for now, it's a very nice addition to live. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Feel free to leave your questions or your comments down below. I'll catch you next time.